and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is Carmina here to continue our journey into the 52 cards of the playing card deck. And today is the turn of none other than the wonderful 10 of spades. Of course, before we get into it, let me remind you that you can buy a copy of the deck that I'm using in these videos. It's a deck that I designed according to the Cards of Truth principles and with the help of a professional illustrator. And you can also join one of the classes I offer on the Cards of Truth. It's a more intermediate course. It's not an absolute beginner uh, course for sure. And you can find out the details in the description box as well. Okay, that being said, the 10 of spades. So, whenever we see the 10, we know that we reached a stage in life, which is a stage of rewards. And the rewards are pertaining to that particular suit. So the 10 of spades is the rewards of the spade suit. And the spade suit is a lot of hard work, a lot of work with the self, both physically and psychologically. It's a lot of effort and introspection. So when we see this uh, 10 of spades pop up, we can also think about uh, the rewards that we have with our efforts with our body, with our introspection. The tens are related, the black tens are related to the major arcana card, the magician. So the ten of spades is like making magical things happen with your body and with, you know, your meditation maybe because spades also relate to meditation. But all the hard work that you've been investing in now it's a time for getting a reward so you know usually the the spade suit has a more difficult a more maybe melancholic or sad connotation because all this introspection of course is not easy but here at the ten of spades you get some rewards from your actions of course the um, the Ten of Spades can be like, like juggling with fire because that is like a reward that you have with your body. And we also incorporate the fire element because the spades are related to the fire. So you can make magical things happen with fire. Of course, if we look at the underlying and overlying card of the Ten of Spades, we see that we have two hearts. The underlying card is the um, four of hearts. So this 10 of spades, this magical things you do with your body and with your psychological development, with your meditation maybe, also comes from a place of devotion, which is the four of hearts, from a place of emotional stability and uh, some security with emotional healing with the stability in your feeling which is the four of hearts and the overlying card is the energy that the the ten of spades naturally aspires to become once it has uh, burnt off its karma so to say at the ten of spades so the ten of spades naturally aspires to become the queen of hearts so a very loving and nurturing energy that is born from this reaping rewards from struggle with the self. So it's very interesting how this spade is sandwiched between the two hearts and especially because the queen of hearts also contains within it the energy of the four of hearts. So it's a more powerful version of the four of hearts because it has the four the five and the six of hearts within it it's a nourishing mothering energy so yeah i think whenever you get this um, ten of spades in a spread 
in uh, either in cards of truth or normal spread you know that there's gonna be a lot of effort involved but also you're gonna be satisfied with it you know it's gonna take work but that work is in a way healing because the hard suit that it's sandwiched between overlying and underlying that's very healing yes um, I'm thinking off the top of my head, I know, because I did this uh, study on musician's chart, I know that Shakira is a 10 of spades, for instance. And um, yeah, I don't know much about her, but I do know that she's a very hard worker. The 10 of spades are very hard workers. Let us check out the, the spread of the 10 of spades. And we see here that the Ten of Spades person is always on the path of the Two of Hearts. For everyone, the ecliptic, the path, is, is very important, but more so for Ten cards, because we know that Ten is connected to the Tenth Cusp, uh, to the ecliptic, yes, to our great deeds in the world. So that's kind of the energy of it. And here we see... Uh, emotionally connecting to something. We see the two of hearts, emotionally relating to something, receiving some um, intimate connection, which can also be very healing. So that's the path of the Ten of Spades. For a spade, it's very heart-oriented with those underlying overlying cards. We also see the, the two of hearts there. We see the king of hearts, the six of hearts, the jack of hearts, and the seven of hearts as well. So let's go through each card. So they're on the path of making emotional connections. They're on the path of connecting to something that they like and to emotionally heal. That's kind of a very sweet path to have, if I do say so myself. Of course, it also depends where the 10th cusp is placed. And uh, here, let's see, the sun card is the five of clubs. So the kingdom they are building is not a very stable kingdom because it's always um, working on improvement of ideas. It's having like a crisis with your ideas and then working on them to improve them. So it's a very mental and creative kingdom they are building. The moon card, that's also not a very stable thing because of course we see the three on the second position and that means a lot of shifting, a lot of going back and forth and not too much stability in their childhood. And uh, it also shows how they emotionally adapt to life. And how they adapt to life is just by changing something concrete, changing their skill, changing their talent, taking a financial risk, changing the land, because all these things are connected to the three of diamonds. Then let's see how they handle crisis situation, like immediate explosive crises and accidents. And the Ace of Spades there, you know, accidents and crisis situation make them more than other people go within and find the real source of that thing. So it's very introspective, like the, in, in crisis situations, they handle it by being very introspective. We also have to see where Mars is in this case, it's also in the Ace of Spades. So it's more a fire burning within. It's the, the person being self-exploring. It's not going to be like the, the three of spades getting into the argument and wanting to, to uh, get their point across, but it's going to be more self-centered and seeing, okay, what is my real take on this? What is my real perspective on this? And then the Mercury card is a seven of hearts. So a lot of emotional disappointments in the way they manage their life, in the way, you know, a lot of emotional disappointments from friends because uh, Mercury is also connected to friends. It's also connected to how you organize your life. So it can be a little bit of emotional, you know, victimization here. Then the Jupiter card, uh, Seven of Diamonds. So... The seven of diamonds is averted. 
So financial hardships are get averted, They're, they will exist. Uh, the seven of diamonds can also be like breaking up with your land because the seven of diamonds is a semi-fixed card. It's interchanged with the nine of hearts. So it has like a, a death end connotation also in tarot. It corresponds to the death card. So a transformation. They make sense when, uh, you know, when transformations, when concrete things end, they can make a sense of it and they can see the bigger picture. They're not so... Uh, torn off they're not so taken aback by it you know because these misfortunes brought about by the seven of diamonds are making sense because of you know they're being there in the Jupiter placement and uh, let's see the hmm the five of spades in the Venus card that shows that in a relationship, this person is looking for some self-improvement. I mean, more than other people, because of course, probably everyone wants to be better, but for them, it's like really uh, relationships for them and the things they like in general, which is signified by Venus, is a kind of detoxing, kind of like a rehab, like a crisis that you have with your body. So also she's not she, I'm saying she because I mentioned Shakira and I'm thinking about Shakira when I look at this chart. So in love, these people who have uh, odd cards on the Venus placement, they will never be satisfied with a linear relationship. They will want some struggle and they will want some crises. They will enjoy it actually. And especially with this five of spades here because the five of spades is pretty painful, like in the body. Of course, it also depends where Venus is. And for this hypothetical person that I cast the chart for, the chart of today, um, Venus is in the ace of spades. So they are also, they like their alone time in their relationship. And they also like people who can be alone. Although they are on the path of making intimate connections, they are very much uh, preferring their alone time. It's a pretty interesting spread. Like That's why like life is so fascinating. You get one card here that says one thing, but then you also have the other side. That's why I love this system. It's so intricate. Then we have the, the fixed card, which is the Jack of Hearts. We have it in the Saturn card. So this, is, um, this shows that the way that they overcome long, they, they overcome, um, you know, chronical issues, like things that are just, you see them coming from a long time, like, you know, relatives dying because Saturn is of course death is like, the natural force of nature that ends things is by the jack of hearts. It's just by them learning from that uh, long-term chronicle thing or misfortune, them learning to embrace life and be more loving. So it's kind of an optimistic placement there in a way. But in this particular case, we see, you know, Sun, Saturn, South Node, Pluto there in the jack of hearts. So that's going to be delaying at most that energy of the Jack of Hearts. And then we have the South Node, the Nine of Spades. So again, a spade here. And I, they spent a lot in their past lives in isolation, working on their body and themselves. And the North Node is another, is another nine. It's the Nine of Clubs. So Again, they're going to spend a lot of time in isolation, but not so much to work on their self, on their meditation, on introspection, but more to work on their creativity. I guess for the Ten of Spades, which is Shakira, it's going to be a lot of time in the studio by yourself. And then we see the, the Uranus card there, and it's uh, a King of Hearts. can be a very responsible person. She uh, brings, you know, some emotions, kind of some emotional authority that that's what she brings to the collective. And she 
has the capability to sacrifice for what she loves, to be a mature person. She also has the, the king of diamonds there, she and everyone who has the, the ten of spades birth card. The king of diamonds is on the Neptune card, so they bond deeper to the world by being charitable, by reaching a, a certain status with their uh, financial situation. And then they have, that's tough, to have a six of hearts on the Pluto card. You invest so much on emotional satisfaction in your marriage, you know, in a committed relationship. And it's different than you expect. Like you get um, a little slap because you, you invest in it. You think, oh my God, this, this is what life is all about. But then you see, nope, life is not all about that. It's also about other things. So that's a bit painful, you know, to have, <laughs> especially for a person who's on the path of making emotional connections. So that two of hearts making emotional connections is just like a beginning, a more superficial phase, and they're fine doing that. But when they get like really in the committed relationship, then it's like, okay, I thought this is all I ever wanted, but actually it's not, that's not me, you know? And that's just, that's just a, a lesson for them so that they can, be more of who they are themselves. It's not a punishment for them. We all have Pluto somewhere, yes? Okay, so that's about it for today. If you want to get a card deck, I'm going to shamelessly promote it because I'm super proud of it and you should get a deck. If you want to join me and the uh, other fellow a students of the Cards of Truth system every Saturday morning US time or afternoon to evening Europe time. Just check out the details in the description box. I'll see you again soon with another video. Take care. Bye.